Today on Camp Outside, we're going to take a look at the Nordivate Low Top Men's Waterproof Hiking Shoe. I'm really enjoying it so far. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Today we're going to take a look at the Nordiv 8 Low Top Men's Waterproof Hiking Shoe. I'm really excited about this shoe. Not too long ago, I did a video on whether or not I thought Merrill was declining in quality. You can check out that video right here. Basically, guys, I have been a Merrill Moab fan for years and years. I have probably bought 20 pairs of Merrill Moabs in the last 10 years. I pretty much wear them for six months and get new shoes. I wear them every single day. I wear hiking shoes all the time. It's kind of my go-to shoe. And with my latest round of Merrells really not being what I had hoped, especially with the, Mer the Merrell Moab 3, I was kind of looking for a new hiking shoe to test out. I got contacted by Nordiv 8 to test out their mid-top hiking boot, and you can check that out right up here. I'll put a link up there. So they sent me a shoe, and lo and behold, I liked it so much that I went ahead and bought, with my own money, a pair of the lows. Now, my first impressions are the lows and the mids don't feel the same. I really, really love the feel of the mids. I've hiked in them. I didn't even have to break them in. My feet felt great. Really, really liked them as a as a as a as a boot. So I thought, man, if the mids are that good, the lows, which I normally wear all all the time, ought to be great too. So I have tried out now three different pairs of these Nordiv Eights, and so normally I'm a ten and a half wide in the Merrill Moab, and so. When they said, hey, we're going to send you some boots, I said, well, great, send me 10 and a half wides. At the time, they didn't have wides. So they said, how about we'll just send you an 11 and see if that works. I said, sure, why not? So they sent me 11s, and sure enough, they fit my foot great. So I went and bought a pair of 11s because I thought they'd be the same. Well, the 11s were too narrow. They just didn't fit my foot very well at all. I said, well, I'm usually a 10 and a half wide, so that makes sense. They have since released wide sizes. So I said, well, I'll try an 11 wide because the 11 narrow works or the 11 regular works in the mid. So I'll try an 11 wide. It ended up being too big. And actually that's this shoe right now is an 11 wide. So pretty, pretty wide, pretty big shoe. So these are going back, but on my feet right now, are the 10 and a half wides. And I've got to say, guys, I am really happy with them. Of course, the, the the ultimate test of any hiking shoe isn't the Appalachian Trail or any other trail that you're out there hiking. It's standing on concrete all day at the RV show that I just did this week. And let me tell you guys, my feet felt great. So there's just a little bit of break in on these shoes, not not a whole lot. They do hold up. They're pretty they're pretty rigid around here. Uh, they have metal eyelets, so they're not going to break because they're plastic. Pretty good tread. Uh, I'm happy with that. They haven't slipped for me at all. Pretty good comfort. Uh, pretty good padding inside. I'm going to wait a while before I release this video, so. This is just the initial impressions, but I'm gonna wear them for a few more weeks, and then uh, then I'll come back and give you some final thoughts. I've also gotta test the waterproof nature of the shoes. I've walked in wet grass and my feet stayed dry, but that's not really uh, you know, a, a huge test of the waterproofness. I probably need to stand in some puddles. But but all in all, you know, it's a pretty stiff shoe. It's a heavier shoe than the Merrill Moab. Uh, so if you like that, you know, you might lean towards this. If not, um, then, you know, you might want something else. Cost-wise, guys, they're like half the price of a pair of Merrill Moabs. So if I'm buying new Merrill Moabs every six months, I could buy these every three months and still break even. And I don't think I'm going to need to do that. I think these are going to last well past the three-month mark. And I'm guessing I'll get at least six months out of these because I think it'll take longer to break these down 
than 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 the Merrill Moabs. I'm a, I'm a big guy, guys. So there's a lot of pounds per square inch that hit the hit the soles of those shoes when I when I walk. So you know I know I'm hard on shoes. I think these are going to hold up a little bit better, and for half the price, it's definitely worth it. I'm going to put a link down in the description below where you can pick up a pair of these guys. I I, I do recommend them so far. Uh, if you are looking for a hiking shoe, you don't want to spend a lot of money, or you're looking to try something new, and you're willing to take a chance on on, on something that's pretty affordable, you know, I recommend the, the the I think these are called the armadillos from from Nordavate. I know their their mids are armadillos. I think these are armadillos too, uh, or armadillos also, not the armadillo two, which is a model, uh, but. In general, I like these. They come in three colors. They come in this brown color, they have a green color, and I think they have a black color. I'll put uh, an image on the screen here where you can see the different colors that these shoes come in. And they come in standard sizes and now have wides, which is really great for those of us with wide feet. And all in all, guys, like I said, I really, I really like them. Uh, I need to wear them a little bit more. One of the problems that I've had on the break-in is I tend to crank my laces really tight, and what I noticed is when I when I crank the laces really tight, it's a little uncomfortable right here in the foot for me on on, on both sides of of the tongue. Maybe there could be just a little more padding, although there's pretty decent padding in here. Just just feeling it, but uh, right right in here, you know, you can see where those metal eyelets are on the inside. Those kind of rub up against the foot when you have the laces cranked down tight. So I had to loosen the laces a little bit. I'm hoping that as this shoe gets more broken in and my foot gets used to wearing them, that that discomfort will, will go away. But if I don't crank the laces too tight, I can wear these things all day and they don't bother me at all. Uh, pretty good arch support. I have relatively flat feet, so I don't like super high arches, but these shoes are are pretty pretty comfortable for me i spent 12 years of my life running and wrestling shoes which totally just trashed my arches when i was a kid which i shouldn't have done any of you wrestlers out there don't run in wrestling shoes wear running shoes and then change your wrestling shoes when you hit the mats it's not good to run and run in wrestling shoes but anyway aside from that if you are looking for a new hiking shoe i gotta say you probably should try these out. Let's wear them a couple of weeks and see what we get. So we'll see you soon, stay tuned. Okay guys, so why am I standing here with one shoe on and one shoe off outside? It's because I gotta tell you that after three and a half months of wearing these Nordiv8 uh, hiking shoes, I love them guys. Uh, I mean, look at this thing. I have worn this every single day for three and a half months. And it still holds its shape. And I've abused it, guys. I, I don't untie it. I just slip my feet in and out. You know, I know you're not supposed to do that, right? But I've just thought, I'm just gonna abuse these things and see what happens. I mean, they're 40 bucks. My Merrill Moabs don't look like this after three and a half months. They just don't. And they're three times the, the cost. So, I mean, they, they, they hold up. They're still uh, waterproof. So I haven't stood in really deep puddles, obviously, because it's just a, you know, it's ankle high. But I was up maybe that high in puddles the other day when it rained here. And it's still waterproof after three and a half months. Doesn't leak at all. My, my, my socks weren't wet at all. The only downside is... There was a day here where it reached 90 degrees and I was out in the sun and my feet got hot. That's the trade-off. If you want a vented if you want a vented shoe, it's not waterproof. If you want a waterproof shoe, it's not vented. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to actually look to see if Nordivate has a vented shoe and if they do, I'm probably going to buy one and test it out as well. But guys, if you are looking for a waterproof hiking shoe on the cheap I love these Nordivates. They have wide sizes, which is exactly what I need. These show no signs of stopping at three and a half months. Now, every six months or so, I would replace my Merrill Moabs. So every six months, I'm spending 120 bucks on shoes. I don't think I'm gonna have to replace these at the six month mark. I can probably just throw a new insert in, which I was doing with my Merrill Moabs anyway, and keep going. 
These are amazing. I can't think of a single reason why you guys shouldn't try out the Nord of Eight hiking shoes. So I'm going to put a link down in the description below. Like I said before, guys, it is an affiliate link. If you use my link to purchase, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's a great way to support my channel as I get a little commission on the sale. Uh, I want to thank Nord of Eight for sending me the original hiking boots, the, the, the mids that I tested out. Uh, but I did pay with these for my own, with my own money. So just so you know, uh, Nord of Eight did not send me these shoes, nor did they ask for a review. So there you go. But I'm giving one anyway, because guys, if you're looking for a hiking shoe, I think you should try the Nord of Eights. Guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. We exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. To get outside, you need good gear, right? And yes, you can go walking in an old pair of tennis shoes, and that's fine. But if you're hitting the trail, and you're starting to hit the trail more and more and more, you're probably going to want at least a decent hiking shoe. I wear them all the time. These are my daily shoes. I wear them everywhere I go. I wear them to business meetings. I wear them out camping. I wear them everywhere, but I love these shoes. And again, they come in a couple of different colors. So if you don't want the brown, I think you can get green and you can get black. I think I have pairs of all three now. My son's got the black pair. I've got a green pair and, and the brown pair. So uh, I highly, highly recommend them. And uh, Guys, let me know what you think. If you've tried out the Nord of Eight, drop some in the comments below. I would love to hear from you what you think. What is your preferred hiking shoe? I'd love to hear it. Guys, if you have any questions about the Nord of Eight or getting out there at all or anything, drop some in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Or you can connect with us on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and X. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos so you don't miss any of the content because we produce all kinds of camping, hiking, and fishing content from all over North America. And maybe one of these days, not North America. We'll see. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.